Hi guys, welcome to part one of this video tutorial series on how to build an Angular 7 application step by step. Throughout the series we'll be building the example application from this tutorial which I'll link to in the video description below. The example supports user registration and login functionality. In this video we'll be setting up our development machine on Windows and then testing that everything works by downloading and running the example app. This is a brand new Windows virtual machine that I've just set up. The only thing I've done is install Google Chrome, so we're really starting from scratch. These are the steps that we'll be going through. First we'll install Node and NPM, which we'll use to run our application. We'll install the Git CLI, the command line tools, which we'll use to clone the application from GitHub. We'll install the Visual Studio Code Editor. Then we'll download and run the app. I'll show you how to run and edit the app from Visual Studio Code. Then we'll install the Angular CLI, which is Angular's command line tools. And then I'll show you how to download and run the Angular 7 CLI version of the app. All right, so first off, we'll download Node. So in Chrome, open up a new tab. Node, download. Select the Windows installer. It's finished. We'll go to our downloads folder and run the node installer. You can leave all of the default options selected and click install. Once that's done, click finish. Then you can verify that it has installed by opening up a command line window. Typing node minus b, you'll see that node has been installed. It comes bundled with npm, the node package manager, which you can also verify with npm minus b. All right, next step is the git CLI. So if we go back to Chrome, type git CLI download. Go to the Git Downloads page, select Windows. Download should start automatically. Once that's downloaded, go to our Downloads folder and run the install. Just like with Node, you can leave all of the default options selected. Once that's done, none ticks have, we don't care about the release notes, click finish. Then you can also verify that that's installed correctly with a command window by typing git minus minus version. If I spell it correctly. And we'll see that that's installed correctly. Okay. Next step is to install Visual Studio Code. Type VS Code, download. Now I want to install it system-wide, so I'm going to select the system installer. That download should start automatically as well. Once it's finished, run the installer. Yeah, just like with the other programs, you can install with all the default options selected. Once it's finished, click finish and Leave the checkbox tick to launch Visual Studio Code. Okay, that's installed correctly. I'll also right click here to pin it to my taskbar so I can access it easily later. Another way to open VS Code is also from the command line with the code command. Okay, we'll close that up. Close up a few things. What's the next step? Okay, we'll download and run our example Angular 7 app. So if we go back to the tutorial, we've got a couple of links to the GitHub repos here, one for the non-Angular CLI, the Webpack version of the app, and one for the Angular CLI version. We'll start with the Webpack version. Okay, to get the Repo URL, click the green button here, then click the button here to copy the 
URL to the repo. So I'll open up our command line again. I like to keep my projects in a projects folder. So I'll just go to my home directory and here. Create a new folder. You can do this from the command line as well. Called projects. I'll go back into command line cd into projects. Then to clone a repo, type git clone and we'll paste in our repository URL. Hit enter. That's downloaded our code and we'll cd into our application folder and type npm npm install to install all of the dependent node packages for the example app. Okay, once that's done we can run npm start to start our application. Okay, and then we have it, applications up and running. Now if we go back to the command line, control C to cancel out of the application. Close up here. And the next step I'll show you how to run and edit the app from within Visual Studio Code. So from the command line, I type code and then dot for the current directory. That'll open up VS Code for the current folder. So here's all our code for our application. Now if I go to the view menu and select terminal. I've also got access to the command line in here. So if I type npm start from within Visual Studio Code's terminal, that'll do the same as it did from the command line and start up our application. Alright, that's up and running. So if I test the application by registering a user and logging in, you can see it's all working. Now if I want to edit the application just to show you how that works quickly, I won't get into the details of all the code, that'll be for later videos. If I just jump to the home component change the welcome message to include the last name of the current user. And save. You can see that it recompiled on save. If I go back, there's first name and last name. Okay, so that's all working. We can close up the application. Control C. To terminate the application from VS Code, we can close up VS Code. All right. What was the next step? We we'll install the Angular CLI, the command line tool. So if we go back to our terminal window, now the Angular CLI is an actual npm package, so we install it using npm. So you can type npm install, or a shorthand for npm install is just npm i. You want to install the Angular CLI globally, so it's accessible from anywhere. So we'll type, we'll add the minus g flag. And the path to the package is at angular slash CLI. Okay, once that's finished, you can verify that it's been installed by typing ng which is the command line, uh, the command for the Angular CLI and the V command. All right, so that's been installed correctly. All right, and the final step is to download and run the example Angular 7 CLI version of the app. So that's in this GitHub repo. So just like we did before, click the clone or download button, copy the URL, go back to our command line, I'll cd back into the projects directory, type git clone, paste in the URL, and cd into the CLI version of the application. Also, just like before, we'll install all the package dependencies from Node.
Okay, once that's done, instead of running npm start to start the application, we use the command ng serve. And then if you want it to automatically open, you can pass the dash dash open flag. Okay, there we have our Angular CLI version of the app running. Now just like before, I'll register a user so I can show you editing the app also. Alright, now if we open up, uh, I'll leave it running from the command line and I'll show you the other way to open up a project from VS Code. So if you click the file, open folder, and then within projects, select the folder that you want to open, click select, and that's it. So you see there's a bit more going on with the Angular CLI project, but our core application is still exactly the same. It's uh, just sitting under the source app folder. So if we jump down into the home directory, and we'll make the same change. User top last name. Save that. See over here. Once it recompiles and refreshes, it has hi Jason Watmore. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.